right, it is July 8, 2009. We are out here on a repo in Salt Lake City. The weird thing about this one is I got this address as a skip address for another account one night and came by here just to check and see what was here. And this maroon Suburban was sitting exactly where it's sitting right now with this flat tire and the license plate up in the windshield. And I went ahead and took down the plate and I ran it just to see who the lien holder was. And uh, it did not have a lien on it at that time. And I just said, you know, that looks like a repo. Just, just by looking at it, it looks like a repo. And when you do this long enough, you get to where you can pretty much just smell a repo when you see one. And here I am. Just got an order that came over, and when I saw the address, I thought, man, that looks awfully familiar. And I pulled up, and wouldn't you know it, it's our repo. So I've got to uh, get someone to move this white Jeep for me, back up there, put some air in this front tire. Hopefully they got to keep it. If not, I'm going to have to put the dollies on it, roll it out of here, drop it in the street, flip it around, and then hook it up and take it over to... Uh, dealership see how this goes I just still cannot believe that I just happened to running this as a skip address for somebody else and if that account was still open I would be asking them information about him but we already closed that one found the vehicle somewhere else and if nobody decides to answer uh, we'll have to come in at an angle Cross the lawn and hook the front of the suburban and take it out that way. But we have to put the dollies on it first. So it's starting to look like that's what we're gonna have to do. This just gets funner and funner, doesn't it? A lot of times these Hispanic people will there'll be five or six people living in the same address. So hey, how you doing? This your white Jeep? I got I gotta pick this suburban up. Can you move it for me? Do you guys have a key for this? Awesome. I know, I just need a key. Yeah. Cool. Alright, so he'll uh move the white Jeep for us. After he grabs some of the personal possessions he needs to get out of there. We'll get our camera up and going so we can videotape what we're doing. We've already got our air tanks on, so. So that bead's not broken. Next thing I'm going to get for this thing is going to be one of those speedy reels. You just hit a button and the thing just rolls right up. Mount that sucker right here. A lot nicer than having to hand roll and unroll this each time. We're out on these repos, sometimes speed's all we got. Keeping our butts from getting shot off. Thank you. 
recording. Turn on the backup. heavy on the front because this is a 2500 so we have just a little bit of traction we're just going to slow roll this out just enough to get to the back end of it we wouldn't want to tow something this heavy from the front for very long to get it off the property so we're it from a repossession standpoint in case this guy decides to change his mind which he ain't got much choice about now just go up here just a little way so we're not right in front of the house people get a little sketchy sometimes when you just do all your work right in front of the house they have already got the embarrassment factor going on so put it in neutral drop it grab it from the back end So only careful when you're backing up and you got the arm sticking out and it's in the down position like this. That you don't take out any fences or mailboxes or little kids. Because you normally don't drive around with your arm down like that. And you now have a seven, eight foot extension sticking out the rear end of you. you forget it's back there. You can back right into the side of another truck or vehicle or do a whole number of ugly things if you forget it's there. So. I always show my guys it's important, don't ever lose sight of what you're doing. So you are dropping this vehicle off at its destination point. You have never done. be a wrap on the repo. Had it blocked in by a Jeep. Front tire was flat. Doesn't run. Had no key. And now here we are. The Jeep's out of the way. We've got the repo on the back. We've got a key. That's how it's done.